It was April 9th, 1942, when 82 officers from the 194th Tank Battalion left Brainerd for the Philippines. Not all of the men would survive. Haiti Clotter shows us how 75 years later, the men who lost their lives will never be forgotten. Irma Peck has fond memories of her husband, Henry Peck. He passed away in 2011 and was a prisoner of war during the Bataan Death March. He was okay, but he doesn't want to take any, just say crap, <laughs> from anybody. He stands up for himself. Henry Peck is being remembered along with the men from the 194th Tank Battalion on the 75th anniversary of the fall of Bataan, where American soldiers surrendered and the Japanese forced them to march as prisoners. They were all young men, practically boys, and to be called into that war, it is sad. A wreath-laying ceremony was held in front of the Brainerd National Guard Armory. The gloomy weather didn't stop people from coming out to support men who paid the ultimate price and lost their life in combat or captivity. It's important for us to keep their memories alive, and as you well know, many of them aren't with us anymore. In fact, we have one survivor left who couldn't unfortunately be here today, but you know, as time progresses, it'll be incumbent upon us and the family members to keep the, the tradition alive. Claude. Humor. One by one, 32 names were called to honor the spirit and brotherhood of the men. Their dog tags were then hung on similar tanks used during that time period. A rifle salute and the raising of the honor and remembrance flag followed. The crowd of family and friends and other servicemen and women then went inside the armory. This room was full of pictures, clothing, and other items belonging to the men from the fall of Baton that were donated by family members. Irma Peck donated this case to honor her late husband. During the ceremony, it was said how these men suffered cruelty and had a sense of helplessness. For Dottie Bisted, she never met her great uncle, Gerald Bell, who was killed in action, but his sacrifice doesn't go unnoticed. Thankful that I have, that I have the liberties that I do today because of the sacrifices that they made. And I, I feel proud of their sacrifices. In Brainerd, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Of the 82 officers, three men were killed in action. 29 died as prisoners of war and 29 survived captivity. In total, nearly 10,000 Americans and Filipinos troops died. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.